The next instrument is the micrometer screw gauge. A micrometer screw gauge is an instrument used to measure the diameter of a thin wire or the thickness of a metal sheet up to an accuracy of 0.001 cm. It has a U-shaped frame with a flat end A called the stud. There is a long cylindrical nut at the other end which is threaded from inside. There is a screw with a flat end B that can move inside the nut by rotating a hollow cylinder or thimble provided at the other end. A reference line graduated in millimeters is drawn on the cylinder attached to the nut. This reference line is called the main scale. The thimble is also graduated and is divided into equal parts, usually 50 or 100. This graduated part of the hollow cylinder is known as the head scale or the circular scale. There is a ratchet attached to the screw by a spring. This is used to turn the screw. In order to use a micrometer screw gauge, we need to know its pitch, least count and the zero error. The pitch of a screw is the distance traveled by the tip of the screw when the head of the screw is rotated once. That is, the pitch is the distance between two consecutive threads. To determine the pitch, we rotate the screw five times and record the distance moved by the main scale. In this case, it is five millimeters. The number of revolutions is equal to five. So, each is equal to the distance moved by the thimble on the main scale over the number of revolutions. In this case, each is equal to 1 millimeter or 0 0.1 centimeters. Least count of a micrometer screw gauge is the smallest distance moved by the tip of the screw when the screw turns through one division. It is given by pitch over the number of divisions on the circular scale. In our case, it will be 1 over 100, which is equal to 0 0.01 millimeters. Just like in the vernier calibers, Sometimes on bringing the flat end of the screw in contact with the stud, the zero of the circular or head scale does not coincide with the zero of the main scale. This is a mechanical error and is referred to as the zero error of the micrometer screw gauge. Again, depending on the position of the zero of the circular scale, zero error can be positive or negative. Consider these three screw gauges, A, B, and C. In A, the zero of the circular scale and that of the main scale coincide, so A has no zero error. In B, the zero of the circular or head scale is below the reference line of the main scale. This screw gauge is having a positive zero error. To calculate the zero error, we note the division of the circular scale that coincides with the reference line. It is 2. Zero error is calculated by multiplying this coinciding value with the least count. In our case, we shall get 0 0.02 millimeters. So it will give a reading larger than the actual value by 0 0.02 millimeters. In screw gauge C, the zero of the head scale is above the reference line of the main scale. This screw gauge is having a negative zero error. To calculate this error, we note the division of the head scale that coincides with the reference line. It is 98. We subtract this value from the total number of divisions. That is 100 minus 98, giving us 2. Multiply the answer by the least count and assign a negative sign, so we shall have negative 0.02 millimeters. 
This screw gauge will give a reading that is 0.02 less than the actual measurement. To measure the diameter or thickness of a wire using a micrometer screw gauge, first we find the least count of the screw gauge. In this case, it is 0.01 millimeters. Then we determine whether there is a zero error. This one has a positive zero error. The coinciding head scale reading is 5. So zero error is equal to 5 times 0 0.01, which is equal to positive 0 0.05 millimeters. Observed reading is equal to main scale reading plus the head scale reading times least count. The actual reading is equal to the observed reading minus the zero error. We place the wire in between the stud and the flat end of the screw and turn the ratchet clockwise to hold the wire gently between the stud and the flat end of the screw. The main scale reading is 3. The coinciding head scale reading is 55. So the observed reading is equal to 3 plus 55 times 0 0.01, giving us 3.55 millimeters. So the actual or true reading is equal to 3.55 minus plus 0 0.05. That gives us 3.50 millimeters.